Welcome back to another RPG Maker Unite tutorial. Today I'm going to go over the updated Gotcha Gotcha Games Terms of Service for both their official Maker series as well as their official DLC. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so here we are at the RPGMakerOfficial.com website. This is where you will find Gotcha Gotcha's official Terms of Service for their Maker series as well as their official DLCs that they release and then also for RPG Maker Unite terms. All right, so first off, I'm not a lawyer, but I was able to ask the team behind the scenes if some of the things that I was getting from this are correct and they were confirmed. So I'll give you stuff that was confirmed to me uh, based off of these terms of service. So the first thing is, is that these are the official product lists that are covered with these terms. So you can see RPG makers that we recognize, some other stuff like visual novel, the uh, sister engine that's now officially back published through Gotcha Gotcha Games is Pixel Game Maker. And then a bunch of these other stuff, 2003, 2000 XP, so on and so on. And so what this list is, is these are the list of products that are covered under this EULA. So if you have other engines that are discontinued and stuff like this, then they are not covered under this. As well as if you bought the RPG Maker from RPGMakerWeb.com, if you have those standalones from them, or if you have any DLC from RPGMakerWeb.com, that is all under their terms of service. Now. Most of the DLC now is coming through official lines through Gotcha Gotcha themselves, and almost exclusively the maker engines are now on Steam through Gotcha Gotcha. So anyway, as long as you have the Gotcha Gotcha version of these engines, then this terms of service will apply. The biggest update is that you can now use the RTP, the runtime package, in any engine, including other engines like Godot, Game Maker, Unity, you name it, Unreal. You can now use these Maker Series RTPs in those. So all the sound effects, the images, etc. As long as you own the engine. So if you own RPG Maker MZ, you can now use those base assets in another project you might be building in another engine. Pixel Game Maker MZ, same thing. And then obviously you can use RPG Maker MZ assets in Pixel Game Maker MZ, so forth and so forth. But just remember that you have to own the engine. So you have to own the engine in order to use the RTP. And that makes sense. That's just part of their terms. All right. So the next thing to go over is the DLC. This one is also pretty straightforward. As long as it is a Gotcha Gotcha Games official DLC, and it will have like the little tag, you know, Gotcha Gotcha Games DLC, it will say it, it will be published by them, etc. As long as you own it, you can use that in any engine of your choice, which is really nice. You used to be able to only use some of them in RPG Maker series engines and so it wasn't clear if you could even use it in pixel game maker and so i'm really glad that these terms of service have been updated because now you can just buy them and know that you can use them in any engine it's really nice i like the change now the last one to go over is the rpg maker unite terms which you can click on that it takes you to the rpg maker unite site and then you can scroll down here and basically you can just see that it's the same thing if you want to use the rpg maker rtp in other engines outside of RPG Maker Unite, then you have to at least own RPG Maker Unite. So you have to buy it as an asset on Unity, and then you can use those RTPs in other engines of your choice. Now, if you go to the uh, DLC for RPG Maker Unite, which is also on here as well, but it states that you have to go based off the Unity Terms of Service right here. So if you click on it, there is Basically the gist of it is, and again, I'm not a lawyer, but just from researching this, is that most of the DLC on Unity is going to be usable in other engines unless they specify otherwise. Well, GGG has already specified in these terms that it is okay to use in other engines as long as you own it. So once you buy a Unity DLC for RPG Maker Unite, then you can use that in other engines, all right? So anyway, I hope this terms of service Changes can just be crystal clear on how we can use assets. And really the key is, is that you just have to own it, which makes sense. Buy the engine. Now you can use that RTP in any engine that you want. Buy the DLC, the official DLC, and boom, you can use that in any engine that you want. So now we're not just shopping Gotcha Gotcha Games for their engines, although those are really nice to use as well. But now we can also shop for them for DLC to use in other engines if you're interested. So anyway. I hope these changes and update make sense. If you have any questions, comments below Steam Forms Discord. I'll leave a link to this terms of service down below. 
And with that, I'll see you at the next video.